have been talking about succeeding skills for entrepreneurs and uh, we've been talking about a whole lot of things critical thinking um, um, you can remember a lot of things that we talked about we discussed about today we're focusing the attention on another key equally important part of it that has to do with leadership leadership some say they live from the back others say they live from the front others say they live from the middle but whichever way you lead um, is very critical to your business hence the conversation to help us do that as a usual suspect james ek Gedema is a uh, ceo of psych aid ghana as well as the managing partner for globe productions and he holds a ma in Com um, development communications and he's joining us for that conversation good morning once again good morning dear welcome boy. and good morning to the listeners awesome all right leadership what is leadership okay the leadership is taking charge of mm. those who are in charge of the people mm. taking charge of, of those, those who, who are in charge, charge of the people of the people or taking charge of those who are in charge of the customer of the production mm. i see anyway we're going to break it down further yes. so um how how does how should so if i should say an entrepreneur exhibit leadership is there a particular way you should go about or it should be like a normal street jacket way of going about it okay first of all leadership is the driver of change mm -hmm. the initiator and the driver of change of every industry okay which means that you are the one who cultivate or nature or give birth to the vision mm -hmm. and after the vision is given birth to you drive that vision through first of all if you have a team the leader should be able to communicate that vision to his team clear enough that the team should understand the vision or you know is a vision is what you have seen and what you have seen is in your mind mm -hmm. either you draw it on paper mm -hmm. you, you choreograph it or whatever you do for your followers to understand it is up to that is where the leadership skills comes, comes to play so the leader must has have the skills or technical know-how to package his vision to his team for the team to understand because it is the understanding of the team to that vision mm -hmm. that defines the success okay. it is not the understanding of the leader's vision mm -hmm. the leader can understand his vision it may be clear to him mm -hmm. but when he's able to channel that vision to his followers so his followers because as i said it is they are in charge the followers are in charge of the execution it's not you mm -hmm. So most most leaders say that I am in charge. I make it happen. This is not you. It's the followers who make it happen. Okay. So they need to understand that vision, so they can drive that change, mm -hmm. or they can drive that process, or they can execute it to the your satisfaction. Okay, I, I mentioned in, the, in my introduction that some leadership comes from the front, others at mm -hmm. the back, others in the middle. Uh, at what points does a leadership role um, fit into those categories? Okay, it fits into what you are doing because whatever you are doing determines the kind of leadership you have. Because, for example, there are different types of leadership, mm -hmm. and those types of leadership suit different environment. Okay. Because when when you look around, it was, it was, you have detective, we have autocratic, we have kingdom, we have, but each of them may vary the stand based on the results they want to get at a okay. point in time okay but for the issue of this studies let's deal with democracy okay so mostly you lead from the front mm. in the beginning mm -hmm. but when it is at execution you fall back for the followers to lead in every organization there's a leader that will wake up in the morning and say we want to build a new factory here and here We've acquired the land or go and do a survey of the land this is what we want to build the architect bring the plan we don't want this we like this so that is a front you discuss it mm -hmm. from the front mm -hmm. when it's come to the execution because it is up to you the leader to transfer that knowledge and the understanding and vision mm -hmm. to the followers mm -hmm. so that now you lay back because they are going to execute if you do not sell that vision clear mm -hmm. they cannot execute and they will have problems okay so in order for you to achieve that desired result you must make sure that your followers understand the vision what the vision the that mission. you have so that they can drive it mm. okay um we've had a couple of leadership since you mentioned democracy we've had a couple of leadership ghana is compared to a country uh, um, a company and the ceo is compared to uh, our president for instance yeah. so we had somebody once upon a time the late <laughs> jerry john rollins who wouldn't wait for people to do their job but he'll get into the gutters help join them clean 
he would go to the railway, carry the timbers that he need to get them done. He would go to the marketplace. Like he's that kind of um, leader. So would you place such a leader at the front, or he's in the middle, or he's at the back? Okay, good question. Well, well, he's doing the three all together. Okay, what <laughs> we need to know and to understand deeply and clearly is that leadership, leadership, leadership is not trained at school. It's not taught. Okay. It is not about tenure. It's intuitive. No, it is not. It is also not intuitive. Yes, it's intuitive. Yeah. Okay. It is the one who rises to the moment. Okay. There are crises at each point in time. A leader must rise from the group to the location, mm -hmm. to that moment, to solve that particular problem. Mm -hmm. And that is how leaders are made. That's how leaders are identified. Mm -hmm. So at that particular moment, what was the crisis? There were a lot of coup d'etats. The people have lost touch with leadership. Mm -hmm. People don't trust. Mm -hmm. And uh, people are even afraid to be in Because before that, companies collapsed. Mm -hmm. Companies were collapsed. People were arrested and put in jail. Mm -hmm. So the apathy of the nation is down. Mm -hmm. So in order to raise the apathy of the nation, mm -hmm. he must be that leader mm -hmm. who has the charisma, mm -hmm. who pushes, he drives with the voice and the, and the energy to mm -hmm. drive the people to achieve the desired result. Mm -hmm. So in order to get the people after talking he has to walk the talk and work it strongly okay uh, one of the skills of leadership you're going to talk about is the skills of leadership which is taking action and working your talk mm -hmm. you talk less and act more mm -hmm. okay so what he did at that moment is that in order to keep the people along mm -hmm. he has to what rise up and then take action okay. so the when the people see him acting mm -hmm. they have no option mm -hmm. than to follow We've seen many leaders who would rather be the one at the back and give the instructions to be done. People in the company may then tend to see you as, oh dear, yeah, yeah, dear, you don't involve yourself. You haven't used JJ, for instance, as an example. They have, might have seen how he led. And they feel like that should be the way to go. Is there any kind of, uh, as I asked earlier, a way when it comes to just business alone, a, a CEO, a manager should be able to lead? should be always at the front or always at the back or in the middle or there's no straight jacket one to that the, the, <laughs> that's what i'm saying I, i'll come back to the same question i'll okay. give you the same answer okay but mm -hmm. the moment determines the kind of leadership you, you need okay the even moment, in the business the mo even in the business the moment okay you see when you are managing a business with about thousand employees mm -hmm. the manager cannot come in the morning and be welcoming guests mm -hmm. most often you may even not be passed through the reception for the last Five years you've not been to the reception. Mm -hmm. you, you maybe you, you have a another head of face mm -hmm. or somehow. Okay. But it's appropriate that once a while, customer service week, mm -hmm. the manager comes down and do the work mm -hmm. and meet the customers. Mm -hmm. It is appropriate. Yeah. 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 It is appropriate that once a while company define the policy as a manager. I I, I tell it sometimes as a CEO or as an entrepreneur, you take your employees by surprise by going through doing the work. Mm -hmm. But let me let me let me get this clear. As a leader, there, are, there is a difference between a leader and a manager. Mm -hmm. That should be defined clear. Okay. The manager is in charge of the controlling and directing work and what ought to be done. Mm -hmm. That is more or less uh, uh, what's the name? How do you call it? Monitoring and controlling, okay. or more or less operations. Mm -hmm. That is the manager. Mm -hmm. He is supposed to. He is in charge of the material mm. and capital resources mm. of the company that's mm -hmm. what the manager does okay so he's in charge of the the the, the buildings the money how it flows how are we managing it how are we how is this machine working are you supposed to buy new cars mm -hmm. that is the manager okay and then the leadership is in charge of the human capacity okay. the people the humans who are in, in charge of the work who are okay. driving in the resource okay. so he does that through motivating through inspiring and then also influencing okay so as a leader you must inspire mm. you must influence mm. and you must also uh, what's the name motivate okay the the human labor to achieve the desired resource okay so this is 